Joe, and I'm doing music and audio technology. And my title of my dissertation is Generative Music to Improve Performance in Exercise. Well, I wanted to make something that would help people um, in exercise using music because I find that it helps me when I'm exercising using music, so I thought it must help other people. So I went about creating a mobile application that um, uses people's heart rate to produce uh, generative music that uh, works their exercise and hopefully will improve their performance. Uh, well, in my literature review, um, I looked at three things. I looked at procedural music and generative music. I looked at music and exercise. I also looked at uh, just sort of the general world of applications and fitness applications. Um, I mean, through procedural music, I kind of got a greater, greater understanding of what procedural music is, what generative music is. Um, and also, looking at music and exercise, I learned that there's a lot of evidence supporting the idea that music does help exercise performance. Um, uh, and for applications, I looked at the other applications that are in the market um, and saw what things uh, I could get, like, take from them to improve um, mine. As a, a and um, yeah, there is a big sort of support for these kind of applications, but I didn't see any at the time uh, that support that, that uh, were liked for that I tried to make. Uh, so there was definitely a gap in the market for what I wanted to do. And stuff like that, audio files. I used um, JavaScript programming language to create my application uh, to be deployed onto mobile using Cordova. So it was kind of a web application to start with and then I deployed it onto mobile later on. Um, and I also used a heart rate monitor, a wrist-worn one. So, I mean, the idea of that was so people can test it and use it and still be running. So if it was something hooked up to a computer, then there'd be no chance you could go for a run with it. Uh, I started out by um, doing a sort of broader survey online. Um, I tested around 80 people just to see sort of generally what their exercise habits were when it came to music and stuff like that. Um, and that kind of proved quite interesting that many people did find that listening to music did help them, people that I asked, and they also found that they do match their pace to the beat of the music, which is something that I thought would be important when creating this app. Um, I mean, to test the product itself, I tested about 12 to 15 people, um, and we just ran around the sports hall using the application we used. Um, we ran three times, one time not using any application or any music, second time listening to any odd music, and the third time using my application. Um, and that proved interesting, it proved that generally music did help uh, anyone running. And also people using my application felt that they felt like they could work harder without feeling as tired, which is interesting to find out. Well, the project was, for me, a bit of a success, as the application I created did help the people that I tested in their performance, and they reported it was quite interesting. Um, of course, it needs a bit of work for it to become a real marketable app, but, um, yeah, it did kind of prove that an application of its kind, maybe a bit more shining, could be quite useful to people, and I learned a lot in the process. I would say just handing it in after a lot of hard work. I mean, spent a lot of time on it, and it felt great to have a kind of bound, finished piece of work that I really put my all into.